Brad, what were you saying you saw out your window this week? <laughs> I saw a man in a truck uh, walk into your house with suspenders on. Yes, very Cousin Moe's of him. <laughs> uh, he came over. This, do you have any guesses who this man is? I had a... Th- uh, honestly, okay, I didn't see the guy. Catherine did. So Okay. So I don't know. In my head, he was some kind of service... Like maybe you're, I was like, I don't know. Jake doesn't talk to me about everything. Maybe they're thinking about upgrading their windows or something. Like that. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was like some guy talking. Jake to me about and I that. have a no window talking policy at work. <laughs> Listen, we, we, we say a lot of things to each other, but when it comes to double pain versus triple pain, it's like you're on your own. We see no very judgment. differently. Yeah. <laughs> we see it very differently. It's best if we just don't bring it up. Yeah. So I thought the it was politics some, or something money. like that. Like, yeah, it was like, okay, it's, it's, it's some kind of like he was, I don't know how long it seemed like he was there over an hour. So yeah. there for a while, and I was like, who knows? So his name is Ryan. Okay. And he is uh he's a man that I'm very loyal to. He's my task rabbit. Oh, he's like the task, like you've you've contacted him multiple times. He's mine. <laughs> yes, I'm very loyal. Cause I, I thought about uh, getting some other guy who was available quicker, and I was like, I want Ryan. I, yeah. I developed a relationship with him. Yeah. Um have you Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Go ahead. Go ahead. Have you gotten to the point where you now have his contact number and you contact him directly? I was surprised he didn't make that pitch. Oh, yeah. You got to. Like, well, I, he's got to. He needs to. That's what all the people that ever move for me that I find from uship.com, they're always like, and by the way, if you want to just surpass this, save you a little bit of money, save me a little bit of money, here's my Here's my, here's phone my card. Number. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Uh, what kind of animal you got did the same <laughs> thing for me. Yeah. And I was like, well, you offended me earlier. So I'm going to go to the website again <laughs> next time. Uh, but so this is, uh, I remember when I booked him this time, I, I noticed on there, like, you know, I'm, I'm doing my research here. These other people, they have four reviews, 10 reviews. Ryan's got thousands of reviews. I was like, thousands? this is amazing. No wonder I picked him the first time. And so I thought to ask him when he's like all done, I was like, how close is this to getting to be like a full-time gig for you? Cause I just had a feeling and he's like, it's, it's been full-time for two years. Oh yeah. And I was like, I thought maybe it was like the amount of work you're doing and yeah. all this. That's really cool, dude. And you know, he's talking about, yeah, you know, I think my, the next plan would be to do this full time on my own, mm-hmm. you know, task rabbit doesn't take a fee or anything. And so right. Rachel and I are both talking to him and having a good time. And, uh, Rachel's like, Oh yeah. I mean, if you started your own business, I mean, this could be something I know so many high school boys who could do this. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be really like, <laughs> like I, I work. Oh <laughs> yeah. I work with underprivileged and undereducated kids that would love this. They would be. Oh my perfect gosh. For this. And you probably don't like have a, t- you don't make a ton of money, but it's more than they're used to having. <laughs> so, Oh, I mean, oh, that's suspenders. I mean, you probably don't have a college degree. Yeah. There's yeah. no way. <laughs> and the car you drove up in like, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. It, what did he, so he was it, just like, yeah, yeah. You know, get, yeah, uh, spot on. No, he <laughs> he actually said, um, sp- he said like 70% of his job is like mounting things. It's okay. not like furniture assembly. Yeah. And so he was like, oh, I would not trust high school kids for a lot of what I'm doing. Mm. And then Rachel's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I fitted him once. I know I've been oh, him twice. How hard I is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually, I fitted him by <laughs> suggesting it. Now it's like, it doesn't even make sense. He's like, I would not trust high school boys mounting a TV. And you know, Rachel's backpedal, like, well, oh, oh, no, that, no, oh, I, like gosh. a nightstand. Yeah. <laughs> my dad, like, works with his hands all year round, and I wouldn't trust him mounting my TV. I, I don't even like my dad. You, that, that dude's old. <laughs> <laughs> you're awesome. You're hot, too. You're, you're yeah, you're, Corey, <laughs> I'm so a, glad you're doing this instead of my husband. <laughs> 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 He's not mounting anything, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh uh oh, ooh I ooh I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat, so come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, cause it's the Ghost Runners Podcast. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's Task Rabbit Ryan. Honestly, it was kind of fascinating. I was like, maybe we should get him on the podcast. Yeah, just pay him his hourly rate. He has come been on here before yes. during the podcast. He's heard us before. Yeah, yeah, he seems like a great guy. And I, I'm just curious how it works. He's just full time gigging. How? Yeah, let's talk about this guy's skill because I am as a furniture. Sometimes yeah. I buy chairs and just put them together, and so I get pretty intense or get excited about like how quickly you can do it. Like, what's this guy? What's this guy working? I mean. What, so was it that thing behind the couch that he did for you? Yeah. So it's two different side tables and tables that okay. we kind of put together. And 
for my dad and any other dad out there. I just oh want to say, gosh, my son, I, <laughs> I promise think, it's worth think, it. All he's doing is making these jokes all day about, <laughs> you know, being in the wrong century and diarrhea and polio. And <sighs> he's got to hire some, you know, Working hair, task rabbit. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> working hair. <laughs> Bugs Bunny. Some Bugs Bunny over here coming all hopping on over and doing all the manly work in his house. And I just say, what? <laughs> what? What the heck? What happened? <laughs> yeah. Dude, what? okay. Sorry. What the heck? Real quick. Bo had a all time what the heck this morning. <laughs> it was lo- elongated. He just goes, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it was it was incredible. What uh, happened to make him say that? I don't even remember. That's like um, what? What was it? He was in the kitchen. The heck, I don't remember what it was. Maybe it, it wasn't anything like that exciting either. It was just so funny. Anyway, uh, that's amazing. Both so, great. So yeah, go ahead with your dad and anybody else. If the, if Bugs Bunny, who does this full time, I learned mm-hmm. all he does all day long is do stuff like this. Uh, if it takes him an hour and a half. How much longer would that take me? Twice as long, maybe? Yes, I could put together a table with instructions. Yeah. But is three hours of my time worth what I paid him to do it? Three hours might be generous, too, honestly. Yeah, it might take longer than that. Because he has he has tools that he knows how to use, all yep. of his tools. Yep. He probably didn't even look in the directions. Yeah. So just want to defend myself. No. I, yeah. I really <laughs> think it makes sense to do this. I think there's certain things. I mean, you could, as a homeowner, you can DIY all day long. But I've, I've had so many arguments with Catherine while we're DIY. You know what Rachel and I did while Ryan was DIYing for us? What? We went on a run and then a walk. Did no fights. Fight? Yeah. No fights. No Just fight. love. Just love and health. Not too much. Not too much, but got the heart rate up yep. uh, on the run. So, yeah. No, no arguments. No strife. Just, uh, just somebody putting together something for you while you're... Yeah, Grown close came to home, life. got to know more about him, insulted him. He was on his way. <laughs> it was awesome. Look forward to seeing him next time. So, yeah, huh. he was great. But, yeah, it was pretty cool. It's like, that's pretty neat. You just quit your job two years ago. You just full-time task grab it. Yeah, it awesome. I guess it's <clears> – <throat> so mounting is the big thing, though. Like, So if you're out there in, in high school and you want to make a lot of money, just undercut these guys mounting TVs. Yeah, that might be a lot of it. I don't know. Yeah, picture frames, decor. Oh, picture frames. Shelves, perhaps. I don't know what he's mounting exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But probably a lot of TVs. shelves are a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> shelves yeah. count as mounting, I think. <laughs> okay, so this guy's suspenders were thicker. <laughs> what? In my head. The heck? <laughs> what do you mean thicker heck? than what? What? <laughs> the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in my head, these suspenders were uh, hipster, just little like, I'm wearing suspenders to be quirky. Oh, these are working man suspenders. These are working yeah, man suspenders. Yeah, working hair. Yeah, yeah these, are like, these are like, these are like, uh, what are those? Carhartt. Yeah. Suspenders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah got to keep his pants up. He's, he's okay. crawling around on the ground. He's perfe- He's a pro, dude. He comes yeah. in. He lays out a blanket. Oh, yeah. And everything goes on the blanket. When he's, He brings his own broom. He sweeps up afterwards. Okay. He cleans up. He, you know, he, he leaves, like, the assembly instructions on the table for you. you Just know, in case. In case I want to. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple. Of, I can put some felt pads underneath there for you. Yeah, that'd be great, Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take four felt pads. Thanks. <laughs> the guy wants his reviews. And he does it. This is great, too. Before he leaves, he said, hey, I asked this all my clients. Is there anything I've done today to not deserve a five-star rating? Love I said, it. five stars coming your way. Love it. That's a great move. Yeah. Because one, I feel guilty not reviewing it. I almost basically signed up for it. Yeah. And two, I definitely have to give him five-star reviews, a five-star review, because I just told him he hasn't done anything. Right. To not deserve it. Yeah. It's great. Like, and he's proactive. Is like, I would love to fix this. I'll fix if, it. If there's not a five-star mm-hmm. review here. Yeah. yeah. Love it, man. Ryan. So very satisfied customer of Ryan. Threw him a little tip. Okay. I said, sorry about my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. Does he use uh, uh, one more thing about that? Right? Yeah. Because uh, so many of those things come with Allen wrenches. Uh, to- oh, no. I mean, he'd been in my house eight seconds. I'm like, hey, I'll leave you be. I'm going to be in this room. Rear, 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 rear. And I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, seriously, yeah. immediately he yeah. whispered something in. It was impressive. That's awesome. Yeah. I, yeah. Because I can imagine the, the most frustrating thing for me is understanding how to initially assemble it. Like, and so if he's done it before, which I guarantee you most of the time he's doing something new every time, that would be so hard for me. Yeah. Like that's the hard part is not 
It's like a breakthrough. You go in this room, you're like, what's the what's the strategy here? What's the, I know, I'll figure it out. Yeah. But why is it, what's the honeycomb? And then, okay, that's yeah. a distraction. <laughs> yeah, do you, do you give him like a link to the picture or anything of like what it's supposed to look like? I, I just s- send him like the Amazon link beforehand. Like, Perfect. hey, this way you're going to be assembling. Yeah, that's nice. And okay. also my wife... Also, she's going to be a problem. She'll <laughs> she thinks she's. We're going to work on it on our run. That's why we're having you do this so I can talk to her about that. <laughs> uh, dude, okay, on your run, I have this written down in my notes. I just have, is our neighborhood cool? <laughs> have you noticed li- li- lately? A lot of people running? Just like normal, cool looking people. Have you noticed this? I will say the people look better than the houses do. Because when I go on my runs, I think, is our neighborhood gross? But then other times, <laughs> But you've seen I, the people. I see the attractive people. Like out of nowhere. It was like it was like a, <laughs> a, a switch was flipped. Yeah, it's like the June bugs came out of the ground. And FYI, like, we got hot people now. <laughs> like like before they it was sprouted. like it was like a huge deal. Like Catherine and I would be like, oh, those people look, look like they could be our friends. Mm. And now it's like everybody looks like they could be our friends. They all do. Now I'm like worried I'm not cool enough for them. Yeah. Have you yeah. noticed this? Like <laughs> there's just like normal looking people all of a sudden. Like, because our, our neighborhood is not like the nicest area. But maybe because it's affordable now, people are able to like normal people are like, hey, this is a pretty good idea. Nice folks are coming in. A lot of dogs in the neighborhood, a lot of dogs being walked, which I like. Yeah. I was I when I like walking or running, I was not at the human and I not at the dog. I yeah, I, I always give them both. I, <laughs> I always smile at the dog first. If it's a German shepherd, I say, officer, and I keep <laughs> running. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting my tags renewed. <laughs> yeah, right. Got pulled over again. Yeah. Yeah. They just kind of, I was like, I, I don't know. It's up. You could believe me if you want, but I promise I've never been pulled over this in two years. And I just got pulled over last week. It was in Shawnee and I was in Leewood at the time. And he's like, do you have proof of it? I was like, I could pull up a podcast for you where I talk <laughs> about it, but no, yeah, just <laughs> plug the podcast. Uh, oh man. Let me see if it's on my, you know, one of my like five YouTube channels. that have like a ton <laughs> of followers. No, <laughs> like just pull the privilege card. He was like. <laughs> You know, getting real close. Hey, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to trust you. You've been very honest. You've been very forthcoming. I'm going to trust you, but you yeah. do need to get that taken care of. I know. I know. They should have. They should have it something in your like six month temporary record, like that just says, "Hey, we pulled them over, but just he gave knows. Them a warning. He knows. What they should do is let me sign up right then, and that'd be great customer service. Hey, we got an iPad for you. Do you want to sign up for new license plates? <laughs> yes, I would love to, yeah. but it's impossible. Because I even told him, I was like, I tried to sign up for him. The last officer told me, I can.com or whatever, Kansas thing, and it's not working. I put in my VIN, I put in my plate. I know it's right. He's like, oh, well, if it, if it takes long enough, they make you go in. I was like, see, this is the what I'm saying. Yeah. It's so annoying. I move every year. Yeah. So this is annoying. It gets yeah. into Peter's address. <laughs> yeah. Not my fault. So Kind of my fault. If it's anybody's fault, it's probably yours. <laughs> but you know, it's nobody's fault. It's 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 the technology in America's fault. It's an election year. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, is our neighborhood cool? Our neighborhood's getting kind of cool. And as I've been, I, I went on a long walk last Friday to prepare for our little gig we had. Let's oh, talk nice. about that soon. And I got a little far away. And I also texted Rachel. I said, "See if you can come find me." So we did a little hide and seek. So Rachel drove around trying to find me. Oh, that's that cool. was kind of fun. Um, did she? She did. Okay. And there are some very unique houses, though. You, you start going a little bit, and it, I do like how we're not in a typical neighborhood where every house looks the same. Definitely they look not. very different. They're, that's that's the fun thing. Some are way too nice. Like, well, <clears throat> you, you spent way too much on like rebuilding oh, dude, this house. There's like, a house like yeah, five six doors down from me. That's probably a million dollar house. Yeah, that was they they messed or up or more. Yeah, like <clears throat> yeah, there's just random. I think there's a lot of pride of ownership. Not everybody, but a lot of them are nice. And then every once in a while, it's like that's just a dump, <laughs> you know. But like, there's a lot of like older, nice houses that just aren't like super big or like extravagant or anything. But yeah, um, so you, yeah, you were you were found. Yeah, she did find me. It was actually right as she was giving up. I saw that I was getting a call from Rachel, and I looked down, and she also like pulled like on the street when she was calling me. It's like, ah, huh, that worked out. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, Tommy, how's your neighborhood? Is it cool? It's pretty cool. It's not. It's like, all right. Um, so <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's pretty like spread apart. It's not like crammed or anything, so it's nice. Could it's like, you throw a ball and hit your neighbor's house, like from from, from our front door, or something? from your from, fence? You're touching a wall. You're you know oh. you're beginning of dodgeball. Uh, okay. I could not. Someone <laughs> okay. with a pretty good arm Some could might. though. Okay. Yeah. So you're not wide open spaces. Like there there are houses nearby. Yes. Okay. Like but across the, across the street, but we have like we're kind of on like a corner of the neighborhood road. 
So like there's like a big kind of like there's a grassy area, like our driveway, kind of like a loop. And there's mm-hmm. houses like across the street. Mm-hmm. I'd love to come over sometime if your parents ever revise over for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just, just kidding. I, w- I would hate that. Just <laughs> I saw uh, just your mom posted a comment in the Facebook group this past week. Oh, fun. Did you see that? Uh, maybe. It was about beef recipes, I believe. Oh, yeah, some casserole thing. I yeah, like, yeah. Oh, that's fun. Someone was, like, asking, like, any good recipes with... I forget what it was exactly. And then your mom was like, you know, Tywin's never loved a casserole in his life, but he's been loving this one lately. <laughs> Ooh, what is it? It's... Okay, I, I will say, I was like, I don't. I feel maybe a little misrepresented. I was I like... <laughs> I <laughs> Misrepresented? <laughs> I, 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 like, I liked it. It wasn't like <laughs> I... I'm, uh, I'm just not a huge... I never been a huge casserole guy, but this was, like, a pretty, like... I, I enjoyed eating this casserole. I think it was like a, I think I described it as like, it seems like you took a bunch of food they sell at a fair and just like threw it in like one dish. Okay. It's like, it has like French fries in it, but like, it's a, kind of like a cheeseburger thing. I don't know. It's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Dude. Cheeseburger casserole. I think that was what it was called. <clears throat> That's classic. Like I was always, my, my mom was always so, I mean, this is classic, my mom, but like she was always so good at like literally taking our words and writing them down in a recipe book. So if I'm like, this tastes so good, like she would write down in qu- quotation marks, <laughs> tastes so good, Brad. And then 98. She would, she, and wow. of course there's times where I'm like, I mean, this is not my favorite thing, but I'm going to be nice to my mom. She asked yeah. me. Yeah. Exactly. And so then she'll That's make the it like yeah. two months later and be like, oh, I, I, I'm not always nice to my mom. So I'm like, oh, we're having that tonight. She's like, you said <laughs> this tastes amazing. Thank you for having me or whatever. Like, thank you for making this for me. And I'm like, dang it. So I, I understand like time is like, listen, I, I like it. Yeah, it's it a was, casserole. It was good. Yeah. It wasn't. I was. It's a casserole. We've How taught, good can it be? Yeah. We've taught Hattie like to say. It's not my favorite. That, that, so, so say that. Uh, I mean, it's not my favorite. So, <laughs> anyway. Two nights in a row now, Rachel has made some kind of like little treat. And two nights in a row, something has been like kind of off with them. And it's so funny. Like, you know, we've been together long enough now where I feel like I can be a little bit more just like honest if we both acknowledge the truth about it. Sure. But, Rachel loves to just like fake make me feel bad. So like last night, like I think she nailed, she made chocolate chip cookies, nailed the like when to take them out, the temperature, everything. But then when she took them out, left them on the pan for too long. And so they kind of continued to bake. And so the bottom got like very hard Oh, and like overcooked. Yeah. And so like the top, you know, was perfect. And so Rachel's like, I feel like these cookies are awesome, but the bottom, I just like ruined it. I'm like, you didn't ruin it. She's like, but it, would it be better if the bottom was like different? I was like, well, yeah. She's like, <sighs> <laughs> just oh. satisfied. <laughs> oh, I was afraid you'd say that. I was like, Stop! <laughs> don't even fake. Be extremely sad. I don't even like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like killing you. Oh, oh god! I was afraid of that. Dang it! <laughs> it's like that uh, Chris Farley show. Remember that uh, the SNL skit? Yeah, kind of, was this where he would like fake uh, like? be upset at himself like you're so stupid yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he would ask like a, a pretty obvious question and they would be really nice about like the answer yeah like he's just like, doing, like his talk. yeah yeah he's like so there are all those rumors out that were saying paul, paul is, is dead. dead and if you did this and listen to it backwards he's he's like yeah i would say you're dead he's like that that was a hoax right he's like well yeah well yes chris i wasn't really dead Stoop, stoop, like of freaks course. out, <laughs> <laughs> just goes absolutely nuts on himself. <laughs> Rachel's uh, is like she's trying to win an Academy Award for yeah. like a, a, a widowed uh, mom. <sighs> yeah, she puts the veil over her face. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, before I forget, uh, let's talk about uh, a little goof we made last Wednesday. Was supposed to have a Main Street Roasters ad, and we did record it, and then forgot to put it in. Um, so we just want to say we love Major Roasters. Boy, do we! And yeah, my, my bad. <laughs> my bad. What's that from? <laughs> that's that, from that's Greg. Greg walking okay. into my room, sleepwalking. My bad. <laughs> my bad. That was preparing you for Rachel. That yeah. was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was a scary night. That was scarier than anything. Rachel was done. <laughs> I did not like that. Um, so yeah, just. Well, just made sure we love you. Oh, yeah. Nothing's changed. Nothing's right? changed. Yeah, you can still get last last week we said that you can get 10% off if you use GRKC, mainstreamers.com. Still applies. Yep. So. It's inflation proof. Yes. Um, so yeah, Mainstream is the best. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I went on a walk last week because 
We had a little gig Friday night. Yeah, dude. It was I. Okay, talk about it from your perspective. Tell everyone what it is, and then I'll tell you my opinion. But I, I would be curious to hear. Obviously, you do, you know, a hundred gigs a year. How did this compare to everything and all that stuff? We got this gig because Brad ran into a, a pastor at McLean's. Mm-hmm. I was reading my Bible out loud, evangelizing <laughs> to people. And he people said, well, love that. I don't need it. I'm a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, go ahead. And uh, anyway, yeah, we ended up getting this gig. He's a he's a Shawnee guy as well. And it was like, we're doing this marriage conference. Would love to guys have you guys out for like an hour of entertainment uh, Friday night. And so, yeah, kind of left it up to us, whatever we wanted to do. So we end up coming up with kind of a mix of some videos of ours that deal with marriage, uh, primarily stand up and then a little bit of a game. And I would say it was, uh, it was a new challenge for me because, uh, we were doing new stuff and I wanted to, I didn't have it memorized. So yeah, yeah. There was some stuff that obviously I do on the road, but it's in a different order. I still need to know when to say those certain things. Yeah. So yeah, it took some prep work for sure. Yeah. No on what I was, you know, and it felt like a lot of the stand up part should probably fall on me. Like I need to make sure I, I know my stuff. Right. And you can kind of like help back me up. Yeah. But uh, having the stand up stuff was key for sure. Yeah, that was like, nice. It was just it was, it was so awesome to be like, oh, Jake's got this for the next 3 minutes. They're going to laugh. Yeah, well, do your thing. It works. Yeah. yeah. Uh <clears throat> so it was fun. We get there and it's not at their church. It's at the it's at a DoubleTree Hotel ballroom and good looking ballroom. I'm a big fan of Doubletrees. DoubleTree is nice. You get a free yeah. chocolate chip cookie. Beautiful atrium. <laughs> yeah, with a nice great area. printer, complimentary printer access. Dude, how about it? Life hack. If you need, yeah, if you need a quick, uh, yeah, quick print. There was no room number. There's no sign in. Brad was on Google Chrome in 10 seconds, printing 30 seconds later. It really was like one of those like, whoa, is Brad a hacker right now? <laughs> he went docs.google.com, sign yeah. in, Bella Stone. I knew they were going like, to, yeah, two-factor authentication. So I had my phone out, like, no problem, no problem. Just confirm. I'm we're in. in. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're in. We're in. Yeah, and yeah. Brad put it off. We had a little set list at our feet, so we could keep track of where we're at. I'm glad we did that. Good idea. I, I at first I was like, eh, it's not that big of a deal, whatever. And then looking I was like, back, dude, I, was like, I like that idea. I should nice. do this every show. Yeah, genius. And so we go to this ballroom, and they got a little jazz band playing. And this jazz band, uh, actually, they're they're pretty cool because they have the Guinness World Record for loudest jazz band of all time. <laughs> It was so loud, dude. <laughs> it was, it was wild. It was crazy, and they sat us front row, baby. Could not have been closer to the saxophone <laughs> if we tried. Like we were the closest people to the jazz band. Um, it was so so loud, and it wasn't like, oh, I bet it was loud because they were really close to him. I guarantee you, the people in the very back also were like, Turn "What? What'd you say?" <laughs> and I understand, like, there's a there's. It would be hard to be a band like that and not be loud, I guess. I don't know. But, like, you can tone it down a little. It was so loud. I think it, the genre calls for this to be a little more toned down because was when he so, first got was it there. soulful jazz? It wasn't as soulful as saxophone cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think the first 30 minutes, there were no vocals. It was kind of just background jazz. And yeah. that's what did not need to be so loud. That's not even like a performance. They're not doing a song. This is just like, just chill. Yeah. Just give us JC Penney's yeah. elevator music jazz in the background. Then yeah. they start doing some, this is a Kansas City original, you know him, you love him, <laughs> yeah. Johnny Ferris or something. <laughs> they like, did do like the most like, yeah, you've heard of Laramie Holiday before, <laughs> I'm sure, you know. <laughs> the Green Lady Lounge knows this guy. <laughs> they did a few originals. Did they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. They were, I mean, they were very good. Yeah, yeah, definitely talented, uh, but just real loud. A four-piece band. We had sax, drums, stand-up bass, uh-huh. like, doom, 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 yeah, doom, yeah, yeah, doom. Yeah. Um, not like a wait, guy wait, was so playing bass standing up. Yeah, the, ba- the he had electric a strap bass on guitar. His bass. <laughs> got it, got it. Stand-up bass. Was, yeah. Is that the right? Is that what I should call what upright he was doing? Bass? Upright. I knew it was something. I like I like stand-up bass. Sapien. The guy was making jokes as he was playing his bass. <laughs> so anyway, I'm like, boom, 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 boom. That's not a pirate. Film. That's my wife. Boom, boom. <laughs> He was doing that, a sign. That's a great idea. Just like stand up bass. Emphasize your your jokes with like a bass line. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. A lot of people do but a ch, but yeah. no one's doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they were just extremely loud. And um, yeah, saxophone, electric guitar, bass. Oh yeah, electric guitar, drums. 
And so we're at a table with uh, the, the campus pastor who, who hired us and his wife, another couple, and would have been amazing to get to know them. Yes. But I was so discouraged. I was sitting across the table from them. It was so loud. And I got to perform soon. And I kind of just checked out. Not really like on my phone, but just kind of sitting there. Bro, me too. It was just so loud. It was like, I could talk to Jake because we were next to each other. Yeah. But I couldn't even talk to Rachel too, too down from me. Yeah. Unless I literally screamed. Oh, Bad idea to probably scream at people right before you're supposed to go scream for an hour. That one woman three three doors down from you asked yeah. you a question, and you were like, you tried to communicate. She said what? You said what? And then you had to get over and just sit down and talk to her. Yes. Three seats down from you. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> no, sorry. Four kids. No, Ray keeps saying six. No, we're a family of six. <laughs> we don't know each other that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, there was like a little bit of a brief pause in the songs one time, and I was like, hurry, hurry. So how are you doing? Are you, you uh, feel you good about this event? It's Is it going, going well for you? Going church for a while? Yeah, okay. Oh, it was something to behold, man. And yeah, it made me, I, I felt self-conscious. Did you feel self-conscious of like, these people maybe were like, who knows like what their relationship is with Ray and his wife. Don't even remember her name. Cause I couldn't hear it. Um, <laughs> but like, maybe they were sitting at our table because they're like, Oh, we're fans of them. Can we sit with you? And totally. Maybe they were, maybe and they, they were weren't. like, these people are just jerks that don't want to talk to us. And it's like, that is farthest thing from the truth, but man, I, it's so hard. And so I was just, was like, I just feel like they're going to think I'm such a mean person here. I definitely felt self-conscious as well, but I also felt like, I mean, I, I can't scream for an hour. Exactly. I, I, can't, I just can't do that right now. So I, I got to not do this. Yeah. But so it, it was, I, we, we, we joked about you and I, because we were next to each other. We could talk to each other. We joked about saying something on stage. Like, oh yeah. Should we joke about what was their name? The grand marquee. Thank you for grand marquee, uh, for making it. So we don't have to have awkward small talk for the last hour, <laughs> something like that. Or, um, um Anyway. Yeah, they had Napoleon Dynamite playing drums. Just think about calling him up there. Yeah, Give it up for right. Napoleon Dynamite on the drums. <laughs> uh, apparently, Grand Marquis was not quite as respectful to us as we were to them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so to start off, uh, yeah, it was like, uh, all right, you guys know we've got some entertainment for the night. Uh, but first, here's a video from Jake and Brad. And it was our one month of marriage versus 10 years of marriage, um, which was fun. I've never seen our videos in front of a live audience Received very well. Yeah. Not a given. Just because it sure. gets views online that it gets a laugh out loud response. And it did. People really laughed, which yeah. was really fun. That was fun. To, yeah. To see. But there's only one projector screen and it's in the corner. It's not centered. It's not coming from the top. It's coming from the floor on a cart is where the projector is. The screen's in the corner. And I will say we did not get the grand marquee treatment. This volume was not super loud. Shout out Justin for putting captions on our videos. Shout out Justin. Because uh, that did help a lot. Good idea, Brad, to do that. And another thing we were fighting against was a little something called the stand-up bass because <laughs> it was being walked in between the projector and the projector screen. Every instrument had a turn being walked in front of. How, how do you it not, was amazing the lack of, like, you're an entertainer. You know performance. You know how this works. <laughs> how are you not conscious of everyone's looking in this direction. The, the sound is coming from this direction. Let's just walk in front of the screen. <laughs> Like, let's just make it so they don't hear that joke because they can't hear it very well and they can't see it very well. And it was one of those things where I just kind of laughed. I was like, well, okay. That's, that's, that's the biggest deal, but maybe, I mean, it can wait, dude. Surely. or Every instrument took a turn going by. And it wasn't like it was Stop like, walking. Quit. <laughs> just, just, just chill. It's not a long video. It's like two minutes long. Like, or like, it wasn't like the projector was right by somebody's table. They could have easily gone behind the projector. Yeah, or just packed up there's stuff somewhere, yeah. Or uh, even done like the half, you know, half-hearted, just like bend over as you're going past the projector yeah. to acknowledge that you're, <laughs> or or like a little jog, yeah. No, they walked as slow and as confident as I've ever seen someone walk. You know how like somebody when they're like when you're opening, holding the door for oh. them, like oh here Scoop. we go, nah. and you're not walking any faster, but you're kind of moving. Your arms are popping. Yeah, you're pretending like oh sorry about. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it was like they didn't have any <laughs> any remorse. Smug, like they thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so smug and arrogant. So anyway, yeah, um, I haven't even got to the performance yet. Time to just be real. <laughs> time to just be real. Time to be real. I just looked at time and he goes, "Hey, be real all you need to." <laughs> Love it, dude. You gotta have it. Um. Anyway, so yeah, that was that was something. Uh, and yeah, the performance itself. I don't know. Yeah, t tell me. Like Sorry. once again, tell yeah. me your experience because, in my humble opinion. It wasn't like, whoa, Brad and Jake 
hundred A plus whatever, but I don't feel like there was really much to be super negative about. Yeah. True or false? I wonder what a lot of entertainment, like knowing what we were paid, knowing that we're in Shawnee, Kansas. I like, I wonder what typical hour long entertainment looks like. Yeah. Obviously we don't know that because I think we did a pretty good job. I think is where I'm going with that. Right. But here's what I'll say right away. That was different. No monitors. Monitors, if you know music or performing, are speakers facing you so you can hear yourself. Time is, time is not long. He's time and time is, yeah. That's why the jazz band was so loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, know. they had no idea. Um, so that's tricky when it's uh, when it's a one-man performance, not a huge deal. Like Lucas, when he performs, he's like, just turn my monitors off. I don't care. But a two-man performance, this is tricky to not talk over each other because right. you're not, it's, you know, it's like not wearing headphones while podcasting. Um Another thing, the lights are on as bright as possible. So you can mm. see everybody. Not yeah. the biggest deal, but... So it didn't phase me at all because I'm not used to that. Yeah. Uh, you know, opposite of that. And in reality, I don't know how much it phased me, but it's yeah. just... Uh, you noticed it. You could just see when someone's like not smiling, when yeah. someone else is or something. Or yeah. you could see... Then again, I... I told a story while we were stalling one time and I saw Pastor Ray like doubled over laughing. So I was like, that's, I wouldn't have seen that if the lights were off. He's really rocking in his chair. Really? That's fun. That's interesting. Um, trying to think what else. And yeah, it was just interesting doing stand up with a second person for mm -hmm. the first time. But I think all things considered, no, we did a very good job. Yeah. I told you this. I told Catherine this. I thought you did a very good job. I've done what we did on stage 250 times. You've done it four. <laughs> yeah. So it's a little different, yeah, yeah. like to have the composure, have the confidence. To not just be on stage, like I think stage presence comes naturally to certain people. Right. But to do stand up comedy in front of like sober church people, yeah. you know, uh, it's tea. not easy. They had iced tea. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So they were caffeinated. <laughs> so, Mormons were like, you think they're sober? <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a decent amount of caffeine. Content. Ask Mr. Smith about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah. It was, I, I was so. I mean, not, not in like a disrespectful or like whatever way, but I was just not nervous. Like I was not nervous. I, I, I had respect for the event and I wanted to do a good job. That's what I'm trying to say. But like disrespectful, like, but because I was with you, I think that's, that makes it so much easier. Yeah. Right. Like, it's like, I don't have to, if, if I have an awkward joke or whatever, it's like, okay, they didn't really laugh at that. Jake, you say something. We got the next one though. Yeah. 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 Whereas like, if I'm just up there by myself, that, that could really like, it could be a rough hour. It's like, oh man, that really like hurt, hurt my, you know, that, that hurt my confidence. It hurt my whatever. I start to get a little warm now. Uh -oh. Whereas it was just like, all right, Jake, your turn. Like <laughs> <laughs> tell him. not that I can remember like one joke being like, that was not funny at all. But like, yeah, I, I told my puddle city story and I was like, afterwards, I was like, I don't know if that was the best, my, my best performance of that or whatever. Um, at the same time though. Yeah. I mean, it's, there was enough amazing and fun things going on that, yeah, I don't think it that like bombed necessarily. Uh, see, that was fun. We opened it up just by um, doing a little like uh, introductions of ourselves, a little crowd work, yep. which is fun. We got to know. I mean, it's funny like doing crowd work, not necessarily in a comedy club or in a comedy environment, like right at marriage conference, but right. still doing like like I was kind of making fun of people. Yeah, I took a chance on one joke, and thankfully it, I don't know, sixty percent landed. Which one? It was when I was like, "Where are you from?" And he said, "Kansas City, Kansas." Oh, right, which has. A number of different stereotypes, but I, one immediately came to mind. And so I already had the joke, but I was like, let's build this up a little more. I was like, how long you, how long you been there? And he said, all my life. And so I said, wow, so you must be fluent in Spanish. Because um, <laughs> there was just a lot of Latino people live there in Kid City. Uh -huh. And it was a little risky for like the second joke out of the gate. But um, <laughs> luckily like they these did. old white people. You know, <laughs> yeah. like they were not. Yeah. They, they did like. Yeah. Laugh. Half yeah, of them yeah, laughed, yeah. I think. It's so like, all right, this is going to be fine. And then we're doing some more. I think Brad was telling a story or. Somehow we got talking to someone else, and Brad's like, anybody else do home births? And then one woman, uh, I mean, you could have picked her out of a lineup. Which one of these women did a home birth? Like, that woman did. <laughs> and Brad quickly just jumps it up. You know what? Gonna do a little home birth bingo real quick. Uh, sourdough. <laughs> yeah, goes, yeah, yeah. Yep. Kombucha. <laughs> Essential oils? What else did I say? You went four for five. I think, you... I think it, sourdough was the one that she said no on. Oh, I, uh, I thought it was like cold-pressed juices. Did she say yes to that? Maybe, <laughs> but I know she was, and she homeschools her kids. Homes I was like homeschool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and and she also just looked the part. I, you even said that you're like the woman who's you know head to toe like down. four length dress, <laughs> yeah. hair in a bun. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did oh, look the yeah. part. So yeah, we had fun. It was just kind of a mix of yeah. We do a little crowd work. We we knew what we were trying to get to and try to make it flow as naturally as possible. And right. we do a little crowd work at, or sorry, a little comedy and then do another video and then yeah. a little more comedy and. We would take turns, and Brad did a good job, like not stepping on the punchlines, but as I'm building towards a joke or whatever, like 
interjecting or there, there was a few times where I almost just like knew it was coming and I was almost like, I almost said it. I want to say it. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is good, guys. Listen to this. <laughs> and Brad being quite the performer and the actor, you know, when I have like some misdirection joke, Brad's acting like he's hearing it for the first oh, time. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Jake. Like kind of kind of like borderline, like in a, not inappropriate, oh, but just like a dark humor joke. I can't joke. believe you said that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's a sign of a good performer. Yeah, yeah. So that was, was also nice. We said that like, hey, like we can laugh at each other's jokes, and therefore, even if we bomb a joke, well, at least we're laughing at each other <laughs> on a microphone. You know, um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a good time. I'm trying. Oh, and, and like so much of it was just, I, I think it's like this hard balance of like, hey, let's prepare well, but let's also make sure like we're just ourselves, which is more off the cuff, more like, yeah, interacting with the people and joking around with the home birth bingo. And that the, part was so fun. Same with, you said, um, I said some joke and it wasn't even like a pr- planned joke. It was just like, we were talking about who's been here, new, like newlyweds here. And I was like, sometimes I still feel like a newlywed. And then I talked about how, but then other times my wife, you know, as I'm leaving, I'm hoping she'd say, I love you, you know, good luck. And she just said, Hey, don't forget to grab some eggs on the way home. And pretty good laugh just on that. Yeah. It's like, okay. Brad keeps going. And so then I was like, and so, uh, you know, then she texts me later. I don't know what I said. Something like, and thinking like, okay, maybe it'll be like, sorry, I was in a rush, whatever. It just said eggs. Just, just not even make word. sure to get eggs. Make sh- just eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. People laughed at that. Like, that was, was a good like, bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, dude, the, hey, honestly, I, I, I told you this in the parking lot afterwards, but I was like, dude, my comedy alarm bells are going off. There's a lot of material to be had about that. Like 10 years of marriage type crowd where yeah. like, they love the jokes of like, I still love my wife right. kind of right. thing or like, oh, yeah, you guys have plans on the weekend. That would be nice. Yes. Right. You know, that kind of style of comedy. Yeah. And yeah. Just the middle class, middle aged mm-hmm. type marriage stuff was yeah. working really well that whole night. Yeah, it was. It was, it was fun time. And, and so, yeah, then at the end of the night, we kind of capped it off with the newlywed game, quote unquote, whatever, a, a trivia game with spouses because it wasn't a new. It was like. The, that newlywed couple, that old couple from KCK. Yeah, and then home birth couple. And then home birth couple. Where it's like, let's bring them all up. And uh, it, it was kind of like a, you know. Young, middle, old. Yeah, kind of. And and it worked out great. It, that was that was one of those times where it was like, this this is what's so, this is where Jake and I are the best. Yeah, like, this is, yeah, we've had the most experience doing something yes, like this. It's just like, hey, we ask a pretty normal question with a pretty normal like premise of an idea for the game. But then we just make it funny. No matter what you say, I bet we can have something funny to right, say right. <clears throat> afterwards. Even just like the newlywed couple. Okay, you guys go on honeymoon? Yes, we do. Okay, where'd you go? And they go, Italy. You and I both go, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. I, bet, I bet those in Casey Kane didn't go to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where'd you guys go? The Ramada, you know, <laughs> in? Uh, so, yeah, the, the, my favorite thing from the newlywed game was the middle couple, we'll call them, the home birth couple. Um. I think I asked, you know, we have the wives leave the room. We asked the husband some questions. So, or whatever, it doesn't matter. But the question was, what is one adjective that your wife would describe you as? And this guy, middle, middle, you know, whatever, my age, basically kind of looking guy. Anyway, he was like, oh, I'm trying to remember what an adjective even is, you know, whatever, <laughs> um, which is funny because they said they homeschool their kids. So I was like, homeschool. Well, yeah. Their teacher. Yeah. This is great. Uh, <laughs> that was, that was pretty fun. And then later, I think I asked a question that was like, uh, wives, what is the subject of your dumbest or stupidest fight or something like that? And this woman's like, uh, of, of Mr. Adjective guy was like, well, it was when, uh, he called that other woman exceedingly beautiful. Yeah. One time he called this waitress exceedingly beautiful. <laughs> We're like the guy with no adjectives. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, adjective guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, yeah. Anyway, he was a great sport. They were so fun. I, I loved that was a great question. What's been the topic of your dumbest fight? Because the yep. old couple, they, you know, they had different answers and both of them like warranted a story. Well, initially it was like, uh, the time I got her a scale for her birthday. <laughs> like, That's amazing. Yeah. And another answer was, well, the time I got her flowers from another woman. It was like, what? And, yeah. you know, and then he's explaining that. So. I like I like full Steve Harvey that one. Like I just like <laughs> dropped my microphone and walked off the stage. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, what are you thinking? Kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. That, those, yeah, it was just fun time with those people. And um yeah, I don't know. So as far as events go, I was very happy with it. Yeah, very pleased. Um Did you race anything to you since then? Yeah, he just said that was so great. Loved it. Thanks cool. so much. And then he said, uh 
Doug and Cheryl, who's the old couple. Doug and Cheryl are going to follow you on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Doug, Cheryl, so, maybe you're listening right now. That's right. So anyway, it was, yeah, it was, it was a great time. And yeah, it, it's one of those things where I don't get to do stuff like that very often. So it is like energizing to me to like, yeah, hear people laugh. It's yeah. Like, oh, okay. I guess I am funny. Like yeah. to people that just aren't my friends, you know, in a podcast studio. So it's fun. Tell you what else is energizing is Major Roasters. But, I mean, uh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, Major Roasters. We said it last week. We we, say, we normally say it every week, but <laughs> seriously, Main Street Roasters, they're the best. Time, how many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> Two. That's how many cups of Main Street Roasters I had today, baby. Wow. And my gosh, am I feeling good right now. My what I, gosh. I walked into the studio, Jake's house. I walked into Jake's house today, and I was just like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's get after it. I, I'm re- If you want to get after it, get some Main Street Roasters. Sign baby. me up. Yeah. That's right. 10% off GRKC. I hear it every week. Well... Well, <laughs> um, we mentioned the saxophone. I have a have a story to tell you about this week, um, but I had to do it with a saxophone involved. Fun. Permission. Okay. Granted. Um, Timon's going to help me out. I thought it'd be fun to um, tell you my normal, like, Ghost Runners type, like, life update story via song. Duke Silver style. <laughs> oh, via song. Via song. Okay. So you just sit back and enjoy the story. Just pretend it's like any other just like life update okay. from the podcast. But I'm not going to talk. No. Hold on. <laughs> Bluetooth. No, it says connected. It says you're there. Oh. This is embarrassing. Can I, can I say something else about the uh, gig while you're figuring that out? Roadcasts are not connected. <clears throat> so I needed a break from the super loud band, so I went to the bathroom about halfway through dinner. And as I'm... Going number one in the urinal, I go to zip up my fly, and my fly doesn't want to zip back doesn't up. Doesn't zip back. And I, I, for like, it was like 10 seconds where I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> I'll say it again. I was like, internal Cath- monologue. What am I going to do? I was like, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to make Catherine come with four kids to bring me pants. And I'm going to be late. Or I can like try to like hike them up and just pull my shirt down really far. I was trying to figure it out. I the mean, the entire evening, you're just, yeah. just like over here, just like <laughs> shoving your New City Church, how we do it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was one of those things where it's just like, uh, what do you do? I've gotten nervous. There's been a handful of times where it's like the first night of a, of a weekend of shows. I go to like get ready. You know, of course, I'm not getting ready until 630. So I'm like, all right, let's pull out my jeans. And for a split second, I can't find my jeans in my bag. And you start going like, what would I do? What would I do? Yeah. And I think the answer is, take Alan's jeans or something and oh, just give it yeah. to him afterwards. I don't know. <laughs> would I have like Isaac's found joggers? I would have like walked over like, hey man, you look, what 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 waist are you? Waist? It'll do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like wearing like some super tight pants like <laughs> up there. It's a European cut. Yeah, man. I mean, it was, it was longer than like one failed tug and then <laughs> force it up. It was like, like there was some, there was some like, like a thread in the way or something. It was like, oh gosh. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> After all, you got to be careful. You're like I'm gonna have to yank hard enough. Correct. Something's got to budge. Yeah. Me or the zipper. Yeah. So I got to get out of the way. Yes. And crank it like a chainsaw. <laughs> yes. Luckily, I family force fired that thing all the way up. <laughs> and it was fine. But uh, yeah, I, I think I said that right. I was like, dude, my fly almost didn't <laughs> zip back up. And so. I said, what? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. What? Hold on. What? Oh, just text it to me. <laughs> Grand Marquis on again. <laughs> Did you hear those people across from us, like at the table? I was like, "Do you have kids?" And they go, "Grandkids." Did you hear that? Oh. And I mean, they seemed young. Yeah. And I couldn't tell if they were joking or serious. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to get into it because I. Like, oh. All okay. right. Yeah. I bet a high schooler could do that job. <laughs> <laughs> bet you did the job in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad the video didn't load. That was a great little <laughs> segment there. Um, all right, let's let's see if this is working now. <laughs> oh yeah. So, yeah, I thought this would be fun. Just saw something happen this week. 
Last Friday night, just flicking through the shows, I saw a little guest, but Rachel, she don't know. Kept it calm, kept it cool. I didn't cause a scene, cause Ratatouille's in the kitchen looking right at me. There's a mouse in the house and he's staying the night. There's a mouse in the house, so oh, this ain't right. Moving up, moving down, got me on my toes. I'm scared to death and I think he knows. House and he's ready to eat. There's a mouse in the house, not planning to leave. There's a man in the house, standing tall and brave. With the plan in his hand and a wife to save. Ooh, mouse in that house, oh, you're having a blast. Enjoy tonight's meal, cause I hope it's your last. Rachel's on the couch, and boy, she's so oblivious. You just went in the sink, but boy, you're so mysterious. There he goes again, he's on another run. Chocolate covered pretzels, always having fun. Butter sides, oatmeal pies, what a buffet. Get Rachel back to bed, and out of my way, a bucket and a plank, some peanut butter too. A spinning axle waits for the guy to come through. Up the ramp, he's got a plane, but I've got mine as well. Ratatouille's gonna have a brand new place to dwell. Oh, mouse in the house, you met your match today. I hope you like swimming, cause there ain't no other way. Next morning, Rachel wakes up and gives me a shout, cause there's a bucket in the kitchen with a mouse in it, no doubt. There's hey. a mouse in the house, and he's staying the night. There's a mouse in the house, so this ain't right. Moving up, moving down, got me on my toes. I'm scared to death, and I think he knows. There's a mouse in the house, and he's ready to eat. There's a mouse in the house, not planning to leave. There's a man in the house, standing tall and brave. With a plan in his hand, and a wife to save. Mission accomplished, the house is secure Rachel's still in shock, but at least now she's sure There's a man in the house Thanks for listening closely Just another story from me to the ghosties Wow, dude Let it roll, yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> Fun song, fun yeah, instrumental that, that is fun, that, what it sounded like something else It doesn't matter Kind of like uh, going down for real A little bit <laughs> Low rider <laughs> But not, that's not what I, yeah, anyway Wow, dude Okay, so break it down a little bit more. So you were watching TV and the mouse was where? <laughs> yeah, you so saw it by the TV? That's uh, all a true story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were. So it started actually at dinner. This is when? What night? Friday This is night. Friday night. It's the night before you came over. So we had a mouse problem when you came over Saturday night. I didn't tell you, though. That is dramatic irony at its best. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I saw it once when I was at the kitchen table and Rachel's on the couch. And I was like, oh, man, first mouse. And I think I've said on the podcast before, this house was built in the 30s. Yeah. I can't believe we haven't had mice yet. Well, it's time. Yeah. Saw one. I was like, oh boy. All right. We got mice. I was like, I'm not going to tell Rachel. And then we start watching the show and then I start hearing them. Wait, 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 wait. Where'd you see, where'd you see the mouse first? Now we're, oh, like kind of just outside the podcast studio. Okay. And then we're <laughs> watching a show later at night on the couch and I start hearing him. I look back and he's like on our kitchen counter and Rachel doesn't hear him and she's like kind of falling asleep. So I was like, great. She doesn't need to know. And then, so I'm just kind of watching him, just having a time. He got into chocolate covered pretzels bag. He got into Elizabeth Virgil's oatmeal cream pies. Uh. <laughs> it was truly a buffet. I mean, the song is is accurate. To it's like no wonder happened. there's mice. Yeah, there's food everywhere. Yeah, we could have done a little better. Yeah. Um, but anyway, he got so, into the chocolate covered pretzel bag in the bag. Yeah, and you you're just, just watching this, yeah, yeah. dude. So I'm kind of watching this mouse, and then you just kind of hear like a. Oh, he's having a good time <laughs> in those pretzels. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Just keep an eye on him. So, yeah, like the song said, I, I like woke Rachel up at some point. I was like, hey, why don't we go to bed? She's like, you coming to bed? I was like, not, not right now. I got to work on something. Okay, okay. What are you working on? I, uh, <laughs> I don't worry about it. Just going to evaluate our time with New City Church. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, then I um, like like scared him off, got him out of the kitchen and starting to put away all the, the food that's out and everything. And then How'd you, you weren't nervous to scare him off. Of course. You, I was scared to death. <laughs> I was so scared. Brother. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I put how'd, shoes on. How'd you scare him? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was mainly just like loud stomps. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Easy. And then, um, yeah, got to work. You know, the drill. Oh yeah. Ramp. How'd bucket. You, you had all that peanut butter. I uh, I went and got it. Okay. And uh, yeah, next morning, uh, Rachel says, hey, got a mouse in the bucket. Wow. So, so she knew about the mouse. Um, yes, she point. did. Uh, yeah, she knew about the plan, the you, bucket. You did that? The bucket? Caught, caught, a, caught a mouse in a bucket. How'd you, and how'd there's you more. suspend it? Um, I'll, I'll show you. It's in the garage. Yeah, well, I'm just impressed that you, did you drill holes and everything? I did not drill holes. Okay. Just uh, tied off or something. Just Task Rabbit Ryan, he's really, yeah, he's really, <laughs> yeah, really say, good. 
not, yeah, anybody that judged Jake earlier for like, you know, <laughs> task rabbiting his console table or whatever, like, look at this. Got a mouse in a bucket. But and said, there's more. There's more. I saw, so I was like, maybe we just had the one. Maybe just rat it too. He's the only one. But no, two nights ago, I was up late and I saw, an, uh, saw a little friend and the trap was set. I had the bucket out. Woke up the next morning so excited. He didn't take the bait. Mm. So I don't know what. Uh, you putting peanut butter on it? A lot of it. Yeah. Like as much as I can for it to, the axle to still spin. Have you, yeah, I was going to say, have you analyzed it? Because sometimes I've noticed they're getting the peanut butter, but not falling in. It looks like the trap is perfect. Yeah. Man. Anyway. <laughs> that was so fun. That was a great song. Thanks. There's Thanks. a mouse in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I just thought of? I, I uh, I should play Timon's voice memo. Can I do that, oh, Timon? I I love it, dude. So sure. I yesterday yeah. I'm uh, it's like I think yesterday morning I was like Timon. I uh, found this amazing instrumental. Like listen to this. <laughs> I want to do a song about whatever. Um, I want to surprise Brad with a song. I was like the chorus starts at like 22 seconds. I think it'll be this. Will you send me a voice memo of just how you see yeah. the melody going and I'll figure out the syllables and everything. And so this is what time oh, it's I'm going to hate this. No, it's fine. It, I promise. <laughs> it's um, sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> I kind of forgot this. <laughs> My favorite is the last second. So stick around for that. Something like that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that, I just do that together. I loved it. It's like hearing like a Charlie Puth voice. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. That don't know. It's so. easy, simple like that. Yeah, whatever. And so then... It just flows out of them. I texted Time and I said, dude, this is amazing. <laughs> I need you to see the environment I'm in right now. Smiling to myself, listening to you say, ba da ba 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 da da ba da And it was a picture of me at a pizza, all you can eat pizza buffet at 11 a.m. Yeah, baby. <laughs> which you also texted me like five minutes later. And I was uh -huh. like, dude, when I'm done with my buffet, I'll get, I'll get right to that. I was like, well, you went to a pizza buffet without me, dude? Yeah, dude, those are two of my favorite things. <laughs> what are you thinking? Anyway, just to wrap that up, it was fun to have a little, uh, make a little song with time in a little bit. That's yeah. And to tell a story via song. That must be how like, if you're in public in 2016 <laughs> and all of a sudden a flash mob breaks out and you're not a part of it. And That's what like, you felt like. You're just like, I would love to sing along, but I don't know what's going on here. I don't know the moves. Uh, is it repeat next time? There's a I mouse in the house and something. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I think I got it. Oh, oh bridge. Oh, we're doing a bridge now. Okay. That's great. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. You guys are getting it. Yeah. You guys oh, are having so oh, much fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that was awesome. That was so fun. Thanks. And so is Pizza Street. Yeah, let's talk about it. You texted me yesterday. You're like, dude, you know I love pizzas and buffets. <laughs> Obviously, I would love to go with you. I love those things together. <laughs> and you, you said uh, either a really confident person or, or a real psycho goes to a pizza buffet in the middle of the day. Which no, one are not you? the middle of the day. Or what did you say? 11, 8. Like, All right, 11, 8. You were waiting for it to... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, that's the punchline, so... There's a mouse in the house <laughs> in the bed of the day. Frick! <laughs> go ahead. Say it again. Uh... Let's the I was gonna go back in our text and figure it out. Um yeah, you're either really confident. Very confident <laughs> people or psychos could pull this off to go to a pizza street by yourself. Which by one yourself. are you? And I said, I'd like to think I'm confident, but sitting in my car until they open <laughs> felt like a psycho move. <laughs> like when the door I got there at 10 50. So the reason I went, I was in between Trey's house and a dentist appointment. And it was, it was that part of town. I was like, I need to go somewhere where I could sit, and it was just only like Wendy's and Chipotle. Yeah, they don't have they don't have coffee shops over there. Very <laughs> not much. really. Like, it's like on Mid America Nazarene's or Midwest. Uh, the, the, oh, uh, Midwest the seminary. Back. Yeah, yeah. Theological seminary. Yeah. And anyway, so I went to Pete Street and got there at ten forty five. And so I'm just sitting there waiting for them to open. <laughs> and there was one other guy also sitting in his car, and he looked like he's done this before. He was <laughs> raring to go at eleven. He knew the employees' names, like. Oh, dude, also, business life hack. There's a sign when you walk into Pizza Street. It says, by government ordinance, government law, you must pay for a buffet before walking past this point. Like, that's amazing. They just force <laughs> that on you. Like, I meant to take a picture of the sign because I forget what it said exactly. Yeah. But something like, there's no pizza by the slice. There's no just doing the arcade. Yeah, you can't just, like, loiter with your friends there, basically, probably, right? It, like, yeah, I guess so. Like, you have to pay for a buffet. Like, that's awesome. I'm going to do that Bondi. 
Hey, just if, if you come in, yeah, <laughs> you gotta buy a bowl. See, this this is the yeah, this is the no cross zone or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I hit yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Pizza Street doing just fine. Ba-da, ba-da. Uh, dude, pizza's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I loved it. I mean, it's fresh. Good uh, service, too. I mean, every, like, five minutes, they come by taking more of my plates. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah? yeah. What's what's the, what's it up to these days, cost-wise? I think eleven ninety nine. No way. Seriously? Yeah, What do you, is that good? Do you remember growing up? Maybe you guys don't, because you're we not didn't from have Kansas Pizza Street. City. Yeah. Oh, they have a jingle. Pizza Street, Pizza Street. Only three ninety nine oh, buffet. It's all no you can way. eat. Pizza Street, great pizza, great price. All you can eat for three ninety nine. And then it was like, Pizza Street, Pizza Street. Only four forty nine buffet. It's all you can. <laughs> and it like kept going up. Pizza Street, inflation sucks. <laughs> We're up to eight ninety nine today. <laughs> great pizza, kind of good price. <laughs> All you can eat for eleven ninety nine. Bidenomics are hurting <laughs> us. <laughs> Joe Biden, ouchie. <laughs> eleven ninety nine. When I think of a stimulus I- checks, really boned us. <laughs> It's now in 1999. <laughs> Financial <Ooh>. hardships. <laughs> yeah. When I think of a buffet, I think of like 11 ish dollars. So that's all I. That's, that's fair, a, but that's have you been I to like, a pizza store? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no, like the only buffets that I can like think that I think of the having been to is like Pizza Ranch and Pizza Street. Yeah. And that's what pizza, I think. Of. Pizza Ranch is a, is a step up. Oh, I thought Pizza Ranch seemed like a step down. Is it? I'm not I've sure. I've only been to Pizza Ranch once. What's the was difference nice. between them is? Yeah, Pizza Ranch. I think is what we were at. Pizza Ranch was when we were in Branson, and the guy kept like coming back like every four seconds. <laughs> oh yeah, so. Pizza Ranch. You can like request your own pizza at the table, really? right? Oh, I don't know. yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that is nice. This felt like you get what we give. <laughs> There's no you don't communicate yeah. with them. They don't communicate. We already like, did Alfredo. We already did Alfredo. We're doing cheese next. All right. <laughs> it felt like honestly, it was impressive. They're keeping their overhead low because no one really works there. There's like one chef. Really? I'm not joking. One chef and one busboy. Okay. So the guy who makes At the pizza. At 11 a.m. Yeah, it's true. 11 a.m. on a Tuesday. But on, it, a very diverse crowd there. I was one of the only white people. Really? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I mean, like, the pizza, there was a pizza street. I don't, maybe it's still there in Olathe. But that's where we went all the time with the youth group and stuff. Like, yeah. that was a classic spot. Like, good dessert pizza. We're doing, we're doing advanced laser tag and pizza street. In David Arcade Pizza Street, it's a claw machine and Galaga. Yeah. So don't go too hard on one. It was like a full like room dedicated to this arcade, but it was only two things. Yeah, maybe a racing game. Yeah, it's pretty. We can't play that. We can't play the violent zombie one. It's too scary. John had nightmares. You knew so. Crazy Taxi. Yeah, Crazy Taxi. Forks are by the ice cream machine. Also next to the ice cream machine is Main Street Roasters. Oh, Main Street Roasters will we'll energize you up. GRKC for ten percent off. MainStreetRoasters.com. Yes. Um, you guys know Main Street Roasters. You heard with Michael. Well, you. <laughs> My, More often than not, he was drinking Main Street Roasters. His skin the color. The horse's name was Main Street Roasters. <laughs> horse's name. <laughs> His uh, skin color. Yeah. It was a caramel latte. He prefers latte. a mocha, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so Puerto Rican me crazy. Right? They yep. have Jamaican me crazy for my Kelly switched it. My wife loves it. Um, it's flat white. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 10% off, GRKC. You know. You know, you get it. So You guys get it. Pizza Street, dude. Good for you. Yeah, Pizza Street. Uh, Steven Swick the other day. Oh, I was just about to start singing. There's a pizza Pizza street. street. There's a pizza in the street, (laughs) and I'm ready to eat. (laughs) I want people to write a parody of Mouse in the House, a a jingle for us based off Mouse in the House, (laughs) based off a song you made up. That's fun. Yeah, come up with your own lyrics to Mouse in the House. The YouTube uh, instrumental. It's called Fashion Saxophone Stylish. By infraction, you search that, you'll find it. Fashion saxophone, <laughs> yeah, that is fash- tough. a lot of sh- fashion saxophone stylish by infraction. It didn't even say like instrumental or right. I'm gonna try to say pop it fashion saxophone stylish by infraction. Well done. I was not expecting to do that. Well, it also says no copyright music, so it better not, yeah, right, not be these days. <laughs> uh, Steven- about- sorry, you go, you go. The other day, Steven Swick just texted me and he was like, I'm starting to worry that you guys, you know. I'm I'm here eating my Chipotle in my car, and I'm starting to worry that you and Jake are getting a little too healthy. You always, you know, random thoughts on white meat, fast food on repeat. He's like, I feel like you guys aren't eating out anymore. And I, first of all, 
Jake just went to Pizza Street. <laughs> Second and of I all, put the hurdle. I got my eleven ninety nine. <laughs> he texted me that while I was sitting in a McDonald's, oh. and I was like. Well, Good Ranger just canceled their promotion with us, and I'm sitting at McDonald's, so you tell me. All right, man? I'm poor, dude. I have to do this. I was sitting there just unironically like, I like McDonald's because sometimes I don't want to see anybody in a coffee shop. I just want to be by myself, and no one goes inside McDonald's anymore. Trey and I were just talking about this. Maybe I talked about this on the podcast, but I was doing crowd work in Denver, I think, last wherever I was, and picky eater, and what you have for dinner? McDonald's? What you have for lunch? Burger King? I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you just don't hear about that these days. Are, are you massive? Are, are you oh, doing all right back there? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Um, so it is kind of a fun surprise when someone's there. Like, oh yeah, yeah good. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I've been going to the one over by Lowe's. By Lowe's. By Lowe's. And I'm sure McDonald's is doing just fine. Even Burger King. I made the point. I was like, who's going to Burger King? But then, you know, you look at the amount they're spending on commercials. That money's coming from somewhere. Like, they're, they must be doing all right. And Yeah, maybe. I think it might just be different types of people go to Burger King. Maybe. <laughs> at least the ones by our house, though, it's like no one's at the Burger King. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe dude. What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how this came up in my head, but I thought of a segue, but now I can't remember it. Um, I have written down in my notes a uh, half big business idea. Just one. Um Yesterday I was getting my haircut. Was talking to this my, my hair. My barber also has a cube, Cuban sandwich. Cuban, Cu, <laughs> Cuban on um, <laughs> Cuban sandwich uh, food truck business. They just oh, nice. started recently, last year or two. And uh, you know whatever we're talking about it. He's like, dude. He's like trying to get it into one of the sports venues in town. All these different things. Really cool. And he's like, yeah, you know. And then everyone's gonna want Cuban. So I was like, well, then once everyone wants Cubans, like you should. Hire Mark Cuban to be an investor, you know, whatever. Totally. It's just a perfect thing. And then I, my half big business idea is finding people with famous names <laughs> yeah. and having them invest very minimally in your business so that you can say, Mark Cuban's an investor in our company. Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, the, can I get a quote from you, Mark Zuckerberg? And it's some guy from Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, this is the new big thing, you know? And you're not lying. No. Mark Cuban's an investor. <laughs> he did. He invested. Mark Cuban, yeah. He's put five of his own dollars in. That is a, that's a good business idea. Just get all, like, and, and imagine how much I could then pay those people with famous names that are probably annoyed by having famous names at this point. Like Kevin O'Leary for 45 years of his life was just fine. And then all of a sudden Mr. Wonderful comes along and he's like, yeah, my name's Kevin O'Leary. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Um, <laughs> it's but now like, all of a sudden uh, I'm giving him a hundred dollars for every transaction. Yeah. He's an investor. He's literally an investor. It's not just like a marketing thing. Like he's, yeah, his investor in the company. This is like uh, the movie office space. Okay. You ever seen that? He has the name. Shoot. Was it Michael? Shoot, what's his name? He has the name of a famous person, and that's a big like plot point in the movie. He's like, I had it first, because <laughs> everyone's just like, oh, like the like the singer. Oh, Michael Office, Jackson. Office Space, dude. Has Google Chrome been doing this to you? I'll be in the middle of searching in the URL, and then it'll open a new tab. Oh, on Bing.com. No, it's that's, the that's, weirdest that's insane. quirk. Uh, Michael Bolton is my Michael guy. Bolton. That's pretty funny. I'm gonna say Michael Richards because we were talking about Kramer before this. Michael Bolton. Oh, Michael Bolton, like the singer. Yeah, I like the singer. He's just miserable. Every time I mean, I bring it yeah. Up. Like, there's there's somebody out there with the name Elsa Anna Smith. <laughs> and for six years of her life, she was great. And then Frozen came out. And from now on, everyone's like, oh, okay. I bet you get this a lot, huh? It's like, yeah, I do. Yeah. And they're miserable, Jake. Even our friend Elsa Jane. Yep. She was just fine for 16 years of her life. And all of a sudden, Elsa is a really fun name. Correct. Yeah. Even let's, like let's ease the pain for him a little bit. The the errands of the world, male errands, and then a a Ron, a a Ron, that ruined that Jake from, Jake State, from Farm. State Farm. Yeah, uh, Wine Bros did it to me uh, recently. Like it's still happening. That commercial is 11, 12 years old. It's still happening. Okay. Eleven years old. It's so old. Is that right? Holy cow! Let's look. Um. Yeah. I. Do you know? Uh. You remember? Oh, what's that show? Cash Cab. Yeah. Uh, the Ben Bailey, the guy that like was the host of that. I saw a stand up bit of him recently. It was like, Hey, thanks to the company Ben gay, um, <laughs> for just ruining my childhood, <laughs> you know, like same with like Karen, like if your name's Karen, you were just fine yep. forever. And now it's like, you're Karen. The original Jake from Save Farm commercials, uh, appeared in 2011. No way. 13 years old. Uh, khakis. 
Wow. Yeah. So just little things like that. I don't know. Just just a little, little stuff. Anyway, like that. just that's uh, a great half picked idea. Yeah. Have figure out a name for it, Ghosties. What do we it's call a half, it? It's a yeah, marketing idea. Mm -hmm. It could could really be a part of the business. And I really I, I think it's also philanthropic towards these people that are being kind of neglected for like their name being Michael Jordan, but they're not Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Like, Let me throw you a bone here. Yeah. Help you out. I just feel for him. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Um, should we wrap this up? Move on to Wednesday? What do you think? Let's wrap this up. Move on to Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday for your... It, it's Tuesday tomorrow for you guys. But then Wednesday, make sure you listen. Tuesday. <laughs> you got anybody in your life that says Tuesday? Maybe some old Tuesday people from Stratford. Shout out to my friend Phil. He says Tuesday. He's kind of an old soul. Old soul. Uh, shout out on my end to the Facebook group. There are so many posts. It is getting hard to keep up with, but don't stop. It's so fun. Oh, yeah. So it, sh shout out to you guys. It's it's this weird feeling where like every time I open up Facebook, I know there's going to be a new post. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's the biggest blessing in the world. It's so fun. Someone put, made a post just last night and they're like, hey, I'm a rather new ghosty. Never posted, never been a posty, but I just want to say, like, I don't know if you guys are aware, just like, this is a really unique, amazing community. Like, this is a really positive group of people. Mm -hmm. So shout out, Jake and Brad, what you've created. And I'm like, yeah, that is, I know, I already know that, but that's uh, still such a good reminder. It's like, this is crazy. Yeah. For such an extended period of time, there's just no drama. There's just no negativity. It's just like, everyone's on the same page. We're all good. It's great. And every once in a while, there's a little bit of strife and it gets worked out. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like, yeah, let it go. They'll, they'll figure it out. Sometimes it's best just let them finish. Let them finish. So, yeah, I agree. I, I echo all those sentiments, Jake. Uh, also, not a shout out to me last Monday episode. I feel like I got so many things wrong. I ruined my dad's birthday. <laughs> Olga P. is not going to Portugal at the same time I am. Got that wrong did somehow. You, did you did you heard from your dad? Like, yeah, that's... Yes. Uh, let me share with you the text he sent me. <laughs> What an idiot. <laughs> Eight exclamation points. <laughs> the one time I was going to surprise your mother with a good birthday present. I'll give it, I guess I'll give it to her tonight. So uh, he did. He called me that night. Her pre the present. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And he's like, you just got, uh, your mom just got done listening to the podcast. So I just got done giving her her uh, cozy earth pajamas. <laughs> Ooh, pajamas. That's fun. Uh, so yeah, I, and there was a, a couple other things that Ghosties brought up to me. Like, did you mean to say this or you got this wrong? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I am out to lunch. Listen, so, <laughs> what's going on? You just start saying that. I'm a real piece of boy. Work. Am I out to lunch right now? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's a Steve Coop. Uh, I heard him say that one time. I was like, that's great. He was just like spacing out. Like, yeah. Hey, are you? Listen, sorry, I am out to lunch. I feel like I've heard that before, <laughs> but like, <laughs> not often. Like, we should make that a common occurrence. Yeah, I'm gonna start using that. Oh sure. yeah. Oh, I am out to lunch right now. Sorry guys. Let's <laughs> say Olga P. Yeah, it's some old. So, how many Olgas? We're not. We shouldn't assume in our small podcast world that there's more than one Olga. Maybe it was another Olga. I don't know who it was. Somebody let me. Someone is gonna be at the. No, somebody said it was Olga with the last name starts with an S. Oh, it really was. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a, okay. That's a decent. A lot of people would have made that mistake. Then. Yes. <laughs> also, uh, Janelle Bunyel's mom's name is Olga. Mm. Shout out to you, Janelle. No. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. Yes, dude. Don't you are out to lunch right now. <laughs> Where are you at? Brunch right now? What? Can't find you. Da heck. <laughs> don't take my review. Fine. You go first. Yes. Time it is the name Evelana. Sound familiar? Yes. Yes. All right. So my review is. <laughs> yes. Yes, from Eva Pet. I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why, why? Why? What'd she say about me? <laughs> Go ahead. The title, it's five stars, came for time and stayed for Jake and Brad. My ghosty origin story is different than most. I actually learned about the pod through hearing time and go on and on about it. <laughs> she didn't say that. Uh, talk about it at Greenleaf, parentheses, theater. theater. From the name, I figured it was about paranormal true crime stories or something and decided I wasn't interested. And also thought it was weird for her time to be into. A couple months later, I decided to give it a try after constantly hearing green leafers discussing inside jokes. And boy, am I glad I did. While I first thought it was really weird that Tywin was on this podcast with two random adult men, I quickly realized they were very entertaining <laughs> random adult men. And I'm currently listening to old episodes from the beginning. I, my family frequently takes months or more long road trips. That's the homeschooler. That was and, such a humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> we can afford to not work yeah. for a while. My dad is just fine, so he can work on the road. 
long road trips uh, in our brand new, really nice RV. Yeah. And, no, she's that. <laughs> and the pod has helped me feel connected to KC while I'm away. If you're looking for down to earth, relatable, clean humor, look no farther. P.S. Yes, Pandora still exists. I'm a sheltered. Oh, I knew it. I'm a sheltered homeschooler <laughs> who still uh, uses it to listen to the pod. Signed, Evelana, and then a parentheses. Apologies for the Apple ID. I chose it at age eight. The Apple ID is Eva Pets. Eva Pets. <laughs> Eva Pets. Eva Pets. I don't know. Like, what do you like to do? I like to pet things. I don't know. Okay, Eva Pets. <laughs> Eva Pets. That's talking so, to me yeah. later on in life. Thanks for getting us a listener, Timon. Yeah. Thanks, Evelana. That's one, Timon. Evelana. Yep. You've, you've, was she in the what? What show did we go see? You, you remember? Dang it! Dang it! I knew it. I knew it was alliteration. She wasn't in that one. She was in the one you didn't come see, Crossing Switch. Blade. Ouch. Okay. I was in. <laughs> we didn't know I if was, you were going to stick around that long. I was performing for <laughs> Olga. Somewhere uh, probably. Catherine's ready to go see uh, Les Mis. Timon. Awesome. The, the pops concert that he's doing yeah. with Les Mis. Um, did we do five star K Haley last week? No. Good. I just want to make sure. I don't know. Five star best talk show of all time. I was astonished to realize I have been a ghosty for five plus years and apparently have not left a five star review. That is a long time. My number one genuine, my number one comfort podcast. These guys are so real and genuine. What you hear on the pod is exactly who they are. I love the way they tell stories and make regular life so interesting. Yeah. Via saxophone song. (laughs) Also (laughs) the most wholesome and wonderful fan base you'll ever be a part of. Loved getting to hang with not only Jake, Brad, and Timon, but also the fellow ghosties at Grande Boo last summer. 10 out of 10 would recommend anyone to get addicted to the pod. Fun. Great review. Yeah. Every review helps, so we really do appreciate it. Every review helps. And every, every comment gets read. Every Facebook co- post gets read. Yes. We're still not that popular for podcasts, so, you know, we still see everything. It's, I, like, yes. it's a healthy spot to be in. Yeah, it is. It's fun. It's it, We don't respond to everything, but we see it all. And we yeah. respond in our head and we appreciate it. So it's fun being a small podcast. Like your sponsors can like leave you suddenly and like then. <laughs> hey, there's hope. <laughs> there's hope, baby. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Yeah, there but is. you know who we do appreciate is one sponsor that hasn't left us. Mainstreetroasters.com. Yes. We will never forget to read off their. We will try our best. We will do our best. On a brother. weekly basis. Yes. And if they leave us next week, I get it. I, I get it. It's time in head. <laughs> that's right if we if yeah if they leave and time and leaves too you'll know why he's swimming with the fishes <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. ask yeah hey, break his kneecaps off he, going to the rivers he's in the bucket in uh, my garage yeah. swimming with ratatouille dude my mom recently has been uh like i've noticed like she's kind of genuinely laughing like my war dogs laugh <laughs> But like, kind of in like a like, oh, this person was trying to be funny, and so I'll laugh at it. Like a but I'm like, laugh? mom, I think this is kind of a habit. Uh, yeah, we were at my grandma's burial service in Ohio, and this guy, oh, I'm trying to remember his joke. His name's Tim. Oh, what was it? Dang it. He made some pun on his name. Dang it, it's gonna bother me now that I can't remember it. But it was like, <laughs> where did I come from? I am from East Side of State. Now, now you're probably thinking I'm from Tim Buck too. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. And my mom just goes, huh. <laughs> I was like, Mom. All or nothing. I was like, Mom, that's the joke. That's the, that's the laugh. <laughs> 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 Dang it, it's going to bother me. It wasn't Tim. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'll, I'll think about it, and I'll tell you Wednesday if I can remember it. Brad, would you like to end this episode with a jingle? Yes, with Timon. I'm excited for this one. I mean, we I, already. I might just join you for the choruses. That's, that's okay. Is that fine? Yes, time is gonna join me for the courses. Time is gonna join me for the courses. <laughs> um, this one's from Gina. Here we Carol. go. Just kidding, just kidding, just no, no, kidding. let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's this from? Gina Caro. 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 Let's call her Olga. There's a lot of K A R O W. How do you say that? Caro. Caro. Wow. Oh, that's just a Caro. <laughs> <laughs> Need a scare Caro. Well, volume's turned up, so... Oh. Hey. Wait, wait, sorry from the beginning, sorry. I think that was the beginning. I wasn't ready. <laughs> we'll start it. Do the, do the thing from the beginning. Five, six, seven, eight. Dang it! I, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm uh, skittish. Do we need to... Yeah. Is it because it doesn't seem like a, a stage let me get rail? Let me get a sign that says, anybody have... You know, <laughs> Oh, Gina, thank you for writing this. Oh, is this you? 
You're having a bad day? Have a seat. All right, let me think of this song off the top of my head yeah. that you've never heard before. That's me. But you're going to be able to understand exactly what it means and what it's about right off the bat. That's a cool piano you have right there. Chill, chill. I'm about to have a good oh. day, day, day. That help you, that help you with your mood? You feel better? Thanks, man. You feel better with that kid? That kid? That kid in the stroller? Was that that kid's real in the stroller? Yeah, he's not crying. Yeah, thanks. Really? Yeah. You're welcome. You need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Dang, dude. That was awesome. In real time, through my headphones. I mean, your voice already had effects on it. There was reverb. You were like, uh, there was like <laughs> two parts to it. Like you were oh, singing over the top of yourself. I had no idea. Even though you're recording it live. Yeah, it was live. How's that work? And it was really. That yeah, just mixed well. It was already mastered. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Jake, uh, if I'm thinking of like a good day, give me like three <laughs> words that you want to use. Rug. I was, probably thinking, I was probably thinking like, I don't know. Birds. Nay. <laughs> neighborhoods and Chick-fil-A. You got it, man. Brad. <laughs> All yeah, those fire. <laughs> Thank you to um, Gina for the awesome, awesome jingle. And thank you to Main Street Roasters. I, I don't know if we've mentioned them yet. Today. Oh my gosh! Yes, JRKC to get ninety percent of full price. Yeah, single origin. What do you want? You want blends? You want flavored? You want K cups? You want ground? You want whole? We do it all. MainStreetRoasters.com. And get some Roback. We love Roback here. I yeah, wear we it constantly. Uh, JRKC twenty is the promo code there. Yes. Get yourself some uh, some summer clothes. Just they, got some they new just made, yeah, the shorts are new. They didn't used to be like this. They got, they got some variety now. Yeah, whatever they're sending me now. It's nice. Real nice. A nice mint color. Rachel loves them. Oh, Rachel is into them. High schoolers out there, <laughs> you can wear them. <laughs> High schoolers, you would love it. You would like it. Um, cool. We'll see you guys Wednesday. Love you guys. Ghost Runners Podcast. Ghost Runners Podcast. Everybody.